Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm D Gray, and today we continue into level 2 Mega Base, where we in the last episode just expanded out quite heavily in the base, getting a few things here and there. As some of you might be able to see, uh, no, it's been a few days since I uploaded the last episode. But uh, in between that, we've done a few streams and the base have expanded quite significantly uh, in many regards, going both what's called east and south quite uh, heavily. Uh, we also expanded out some of our current production, which was uh, needed. And uh, that's where we noticed, it, noticed one of the things that was currently lacking in the base. And that was our sulfuric acid. So uh, in today's episode, we will be looking at expanding that out, giving it productivity modules, giving it speed modules, and getting it up to snuff. So um, hopefully you think that's a good idea. If you do, do remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and come follow me on Twitch uh, if you want to see more of this live streamed. We're having a blast there, and you'll be able to ask me any questions you want about the space. So, um, let's see here. On the stream, I did put these modules in, but quickly decided that uh, I want to do this for YouTube, as uh, that would be uh, much, much better. For a 2k science minute base, we only need about what's it called, 30,000, about 30 to 40,000 sulfuric acid. This one is producing 60, just one of these, and we have three. So we are overproducing quite a lot. Uh, the main issue is that um, none of this is beaconed. So uh, that kind of makes it uh, <laughs> not very good. So what I want to do is uh, probably remove two of these. Let's just start here from the bottom. Get robots to remove all of that, and then we'll beacon in the top one up here to get uh, things going. Um, the way I want to do it is um, I'll probably reuse this one. It works pretty well, and it leaves room for um, for beacons as well. If we uh, we think a bit about it. So firstly, let's just add in all of you. Let's do the same up here. I'll get some more in at some point. And what I want to do is uh, make this as fast as possible. Right now we have a one-to-one -one ratio. We might actually not need to do much more than that. But if we didn't add in a beacon here and a beacon there, that is uh, is pretty good. And let's just check this quick. If we give you productivity down here as well, we can reach. Okay. Then look at these. There's a small surplus of um, materials per second. And if we add beacons to it, maybe we'll get somewhat decent in terms of throughput. I'll just do this once. So if you look at it now, just with these two, we'll of course need to do it over here as well. There and there. We're just looking at this one now. Now the ratio here is a small surplus, because we double beacon this one uh, to get it go, to go, and um, then we'll save a lot on the resource side, because of the productivity modules. So let's just quickly do this, do the same on the opposite side, and then we'll decide if we have to um, add in much more. There we are. So what I'm trying to decide is, now that we have these going, we do need to move this water pump a small amount. So, you go in there, you go in there, that's fine. Underground, you'll go out a bit further to make room for the beacons. Might have to go out here, will that give us enough room? It will. Yeah. You will go out here as well. That fits very nicely. You can go something like that. And the water pipe will go out a bit further. Go a bit crooked right here, but that's not the end of the world. There we are. The water is flowing. Should also go this way. 
you are missing the output to here because you're missing the iron. Get you up and running again. Yeah. And use this as our current setup. I'm doing it on both so I can easily expand it out. So um, in theory it should give us enough. Uh, what I just want to check, now you can see that our petroleum is finally backing up, is that... Um, how do you look in terms of throughputs on that? Is it a small... What's it called? Negative? That is fine. Then we'll just expand you out a few times. So if we take you, we'll go there. That's correct, isn't it? And yes, and in theory go on the end. Pretty much take you, kind of flip you. No. Add these two in down here as well. Here we are. Now all of these got beacons, they will go. To make it go even faster, if we have the throughput for it, I think that might be one of the limiting factors at the moment. Uh, Petroleum is going down. Also is going down as well. You end up moving. Plus you require water. Let's check our pipes a bit. Oh, we are actually consuming all the water that's going in. Might want to get water in from the backside as well. Thank God we hooked up a second water input over here. Um, so why don't we just hook you up where needed. Let's see if I want you to go about here. Let's just do that for now. That will get flow in here. I'll go up this way and go to these two as well. Oh, you even require water here. That's my bad. What if we actually just do... What if we do this? Then the top one supply the top two ones, and the bottom one supply the other two. And hopefully that will give us enough. There. And one pipe, please. There we are. So water flows. Goes in here. and powers a bit. We might have to add pumps onto some of this to make it go faster, but uh, in theory uh, we should at least be getting quite a bit at the moment. And you are backing up, that'll be fine. Let's get the water in. means about half of these are going, that will give us a total of 80 something. That should be more than enough and we are saving in terms of um, of the amount of resources we have flowing in. Which is the main reason to do this. So um, that is looking pretty good. We have a ton of work acid going out. Look at our production. Did it actually increase from that? Hopefully it did. And look at that. We've been going like this for quite a while now. And now we actually went up quite, quite significantly up to about 50k. Because we added in productivity and improved the base. This is one of, one of the last f huge things we had actually not uh, buffering up correctly. Or producing enough for a base. So uh, that is actually moving very nicely now. As you can also see, just a bit of a recap from the uh, stream. We have quite a lot of trains moving around. Uh, as you can see, these intersections are getting quite uh, congested. Still no bottlenecks or still no um, deadlocks. But it, it, is, uh, it is a lot uh, more compressed. That does mean that we should probably move out some of, uh, some of these high volume items as we have three high volume things right next to each other. That is not optimal. What I also want to do is just add in 
Let's see here. Um, over here, add in another one of our train stations. So they can kind of go out. In theory, we can do the same up here to, to get more in. Just going around our little um, starter base. So, um, as you've noticed, it's been a few days since the episode last episode came out. And that was pretty much because I was debating what we should do with this base going forward. Uh, right now, uh, it'll probably be a few days between uploads going forward. Do comment what you think about that. Uh, I don't want to put out uninteresting content. So um, that is what I'm going to do. In between uh, episodes, I'll probably do some streaming. I'll try to figure what to do. We'll try to do uh, this one we did here. We'll probably play with the Spider-Tron as well. Among other things going forward. But uh, don't expect a regular uh, episode as it stands right now. Um, what we could do here to improve this, as uh, the throughput is not good enough for it, is we could, in theory, add in. Let's do a little test down here. What if we take you and change it with a pump? Will that output water even quicker then? Yes, that empties that one out way, way quicker. Hopefully pushing it into the system much quicker than before. It goes more water, goes out. And one of these here should get water further down the line. If we are lucky. It looks it looks pretty decent. But in theory also get the pipe to go out in the middle. Or just get a second one going to the opposite side. But what if we do this? So you have a lot of water here, but want you to flow out. We just do you from the side. No idea what this is. Let's just remove it. What if we take you and you can start on the side over here instead? A bit of spaghetti. Give us twice as much water out, making all of these go at least. This is also getting water now. Oh, you're also missing some productivity module. There we are. And everything has all the water it needs. There's a bit of a backlog now. So if we do the same on this side, getting water in a bit further over, we should be we should be quite good. But what if I just take you? Go this way. And take you up this way and go in right here. And go that way. Then we have water backed up. We have a lack of petroleum now. That's perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but it is what we're lacking. So, um... There we go, petroleum flowing. It's just getting consumed at an insane rate. But it can go all the way to the end, because we we need a lot less petroleum than we need water. A one to one, but right here, no petroleum. So it, it should be good. And all of this is running now. Giving us a total of 118,000 per minute, if it could keep up. Which it can't at the moment, but it is uh, looking somewhat decent. So um, I'll probably do a bit of a shorter episode today, as I don't want to uh, waste your time. Do comment what you think about uh, this series going forward, if you don't mind a few episodes in between, and if you want me to uh, to stream it more on uh, on Twitch. At least I'm having a blast talking with you guys while I expand this out, as it does take uh, quite a bit of while to do, or quite a while to do. And I don't think you want to watch uh, four episodes in a row on YouTube of me just expanding out the base. So, um, yeah. Jump on Discord if you want this blueprint or any of the other blueprints we have running. And also on Discord if you want to know when I go live on Twitch. There is a ping sent out there. Or you can just go follow me on Twitch and then you'll get one to your phone or any other place. 
So um, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, hopefully you'll leave the like on the video. It helps me a lot in terms of the algorithm. Subscribe and uh, yeah. Then I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.